Well, that didn't take long, did it? Three days after Maggie Hassan made her decision public, Van Ostrin quickly made his move as the Democrat made his candidacy official this morning in Manchester. My name is Colin Van Ostrom. I'm an, uh, a business leader, an education innovator. It was a quiet setting to launch a campaign, but a business roundtable in Manchester is where it happened. And I'm running for governor in 2016 to create an even brighter future for our state and a stronger economy. A two-term member of the executive council, Van Ostrom is no stranger to New Hampshire politics, having worked with Senator Jean Shaheen and Congresswoman Annie Custer. But he says his other endeavors will suit him well for the governor's office. Well, I bring the background of someone who has uh, led businesses, some of our state's more successful employers like Stonyfield and Southern New Hampshire University, where I've been a business leader at both. It is a resume that will likely be examined by the other candidate in this race, fellow executive counselor, Republican Chris Sununu, who on Thursday welcomed Van Ostrin to the contest. With any candidate, it's important that we're out there talking about the issues that matter to people, uh, whether it's uh, education reform or how to get our stagnated business business economy uh, moving forward. The candidacies of Sununu and Van Ostrin come with a historical footnote since the Secretary of State can't recall a time that two sitting executive councilors squared off in a race for governor. But it is a dynamic that the newest candidate thinks will offer a good running contrast. If he's his party's nominee, then we'll have a vigorous debate next fall about some of the issues that we've disagreed on on the council. Well, safe bet, though, several more candidates will get into this race on both sides. For Democrats, Portsmouth City Councilor Stephanie Shaheen is quietly looking at it, as is State Senator Andrew Hosmer, along with former Securities Bureau Chief Mark Connolly. Republican possibilities include State Senators Jeb Bradley and Jeannie Forrester. We'll see what happens. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.